In this video, we will discuss about VLAN trunks and allowed VLANs. A trunk link can transport more than one VLAN through a single switch port. And when switches are connected to each other or switches are connected to routers, a trunk link is not assigned to a specific VLAN and instead one many or all active VLANs can be transported between switches using a single physical trunk link. So there are two switches which are connected by two links fast Ethernet 0 by 23 to 24. Now we will move to switch 1, then interface range fast Ethernet 0 by 23 to 24. This command is used when we want to run same commands for a range of interfaces. Now the next step is to set switch port trunk encapsulation. Now a switch port must be in layer 2 mode before it can support a trunk and for this we will use a command switch port then trunk encapsulation now if we will put the question mark there are three types of encapsulation first is dot one q then isl then negotiate dot one q is a ieee 802.1q standard protocol and isl is a cisco proprietary protocol and negotiate is used so that encapsulation is negotiated to select either isl or dot one q whichever both ends of trunk supports. If both ends supports both type then ISL is preferred. So here we will use ISL. Similarly, we will do on switch 2 also. So moving to the configuration mode. Then interface range fast Ethernet 0 by 23 to 24. Then enter. Then switch port trunk encapsulation ISL. Now we have set the encapsulation type on both the switches. Now the next step is to set switch port modes. So there are four types of switch port modes. First one is trunk, then dynamic desirable, then dynamic auto and access mode. A trunk mode that forms an unconditional trunk and dynamic desirable mode attempts to negotiate a trunk with far end. Dynamic auto forms a trunk only if requested by the far end and access mode will never form a trunk. So first we will talk about dynamic desirable mode. By default all switch ports are in dynamic desirable modes and we can verify it by using show in interfaces trunk. And here we will see that the mode is desirable of ports fast Ethernet 0 by 23 and 24. Now to form trunk, there are two conditions. First is both switches are in dynamic desirable mode. So here we will see that the switch 2 is in desirable mode. And similarly we will see on switch 1 also show interfaces trunk. And here we will see that fast Ethernet 0 by 23 and 24 ports are in desirable mode. So here the status is showing as trunking. It means a trunk is formed between switch 1 and switch 2. Now the second condition is to form trunk between switch 1 and switch 2 is that one switch is configured as dynamic desirable mode and other one is configured as dynamic auto mode. So we will configure switch 2 we will configure the interface fast Ethernet 0 by 23 and 24 of switch 2 as dynamic auto mode. So we will move to the configuration mode. Then interface range fast Ethernet 0 by 23 to 24. Then switch port mode dynamic auto. And if we will run show interface trunk. And here we will see that the fast Ethernet 0 by 23 and 0 by 24 port of switch 2 are in auto mode and the status is still showing as trunking. Similarly, we will verify it on switch 1 also by using show interfaces trunk. And here we will see that the mode of fast Ethernet 0 by 23 and 24 ports are in desirable mode and the status is showing as trunking. It means a trunk is formed between switch 1 and switch 2. 
Now if we will talk about trunk mode, if we will set the switchboard mode of both the switches as trunk mode, so first we will configure switch 1. So moving to the configuration mode, then interface range fast ethernet 0 by 23 to 24, then we will set the switchboard mode to trunk. Similarly we will set the switchboard mode to trunk on switch 2 also. So moving to the configuration mode, then interface range fast ethernet 0 by 23 to 24, then switchboard mode trunk. Now if we will run show interfaces trunk, and here we will see that the mode of both ports is on and the status is trunking that means it forms an unconditional trunk between switch 1 and switch 2. So this is all about trunking in VLAN. Now we will talk about allowed VLANs in a trunk link. When a trunk link is established all of the configured VLANs are allowed to send and receive traffic across the links. The allowed VLAN list on both ends of the trunk link should be same and we can verify it here that the VLAN allowed on trunk is 124094 that means all VLANs are allowed on a trunk link. Now to change allowed VLANs first we will create VLAN on both the switches. So we will start from switch 2 and move to the configuration mode then we will create a VLAN 2 then enter. Since it is showing that switch 2 is in client mode and in client mode we cannot create and delete any VLAN. So first we will change its VTP mode to server by using VTP mode server then enter. Now this device is set to VTP server mode. Now we will create VLAN 2 then enter. Similarly we will create VLAN 2 on switch 1 also. So VLAN 2 then enter then exit now if we will see now if we will run show interfaces trunk we can see here that all VLANs are allowed and active in management domain that is 1 to 4094 and if we want to remove VLAN 2 from the trunk link so we will move to the configuration mode then interface range fast ethernet 0 by 23 to 24 then enter then we will use command to remove VLAN 2 that is switch port trunk allow VLAN then remove 2 then enter similarly we will do it on switch 2 also so moving to the configuration mode, then interface range fast ethernet 0 by 23 to 24, then enter. Now switch port, trunk, allowed VLAN, then remove 2. Now if we will run show interfaces trunk. And here we will see that VLANs allowed on trunk are 1 and 3 to 4094 and on fast ethernet 0 by 24 the VLANs allowed on a trunk are 1 and 3 to 4094 that means VLAN 2 is removed from the trunk link. Now if we want that VLAN 2 is allowed on a trunk link so again we will move to the configuration mode then interface range fast ethernet 0 by 23 to 24 and to allow VLAN 2 on a trunk we will use switch port trunk allow VLAN 2 then enter. Similarly we will do it on switch 1 also. So moving to the configuration mode then interface range fast ethernet 0 by 23 to 24 then enter then switch port trunk allow VLAN 2 then enter. Now if we will run show interfaces trunk. And here you will see that the VLANs allowed on trunk is 2. 
So this is all about VLAN trunks and how we will remove and allow VLANs on a trunk link. Thank you.